Well, hey guys, welcome to my vlog. This is my first ever vlog and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a mixture of a whole load of things. Nervous, excited, proud, low-key stressed out because I've wanted to start vlogging for a really, really long time now. And I decided the other day, there's no better time like the present. So let's get this going. So this cutie over here is my baby hero. He's a mixed breed and the person we adopted him from told us he was a German Shepherd Corgi, which I find highly suspicious, but we can figure that out at a later date. So I consider myself an overthinker and an overfeeler if that even exists. And so journaling at the beginning of most days really helps me stay grounded and asking myself simple questions like this helps navigate the rest of my day to be a lot more thoughtful and intentional. In fact, intentional is sort of this big theme in my life right now because I turned 30 this year, which feels crazy. Because I think that in our early 20s and when we're teenagers, we sort of hold 30 up to the standard that we'll have a lot more things figured out by then. I mean, real talk though, how many of us thought that by the time we're 30, we'd be married with kids? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. Unless that's happened for you, which in that case, amazing. But the truth is that while I'm technically almost 30 on paper, there are days where I still feel like a little kid, lost with no idea what's going on. But hey, we can get more into that as you get to know me through these vlogs. So back to the present moment. This is my friend Brie, and I had lunch with her with another one of our friends, Ming. Ming and Brie are amazing people and they're the kind of friends that can just sit back and talk and hang out for hours. When I'm with them, time truly flies by. And yeah, the older I get, the more I value friendships like these. So after a really, really tasty lunch at the Dempsey Project, I headed back home and called my boyfriend. This is my man. His name is Emil. He lives in Bali. He's from Australia, but his parents and him, well, they're South African. Yeah, we've been doing long distance for about two years. And um, I'm not gonna lie, long distance is hard, but I guess we really do love each other. So that makes it worth it. After that, I do a little bit of work, I chill out, I have a snack, I fight my fridge to open, and then I have some kombucha. So this kombucha is really interesting because not only is it so tasty, but it's brewed during the cycles of the full moon. So the idea is to harness the energy of the full moon into the bucha. And um, I mean, I don't know if it works, but whatever, it's tasty. So then I head up to my room and I do my makeup as I listen to a little bit of music. I love going for a very fresh, glowy face these days. And I don't know if it's because of my age. You know, the older I get, the less makeup I realize I'm wearing. Or if it's the trend, because right now everything seems to be very fresh and natural. Because when I think about the makeup trends that we had when I was in my early to mid 20s, like, girl, can we talk about it for a second? Heavy contour? thick eyebrows, cut crease eyeshadow, like what were we thinking? Anyway, I'm happy that's over. And um, yeah, we can just continue with life now. So I head into the city for my dinner. I love living in Singapore because let's face it, Singapore is pretty impressive. And I'm not just trying to brag about it. I mean, seriously, every time I go abroad and I tell people I'm from Singapore, their eyes light up and I just feel so <sighs> proud to be Singaporean. Anyway, so I got to Nutmeg and Clove. The waiters there actually had the same tattoo artist as me, which was really fun to discover. And then my girl, Fiona, showed up and we had a really great time catching up, trying the new food and sipping on some bubbly. And yeah, it was a great day. In fact, I dare say it was the perfect first day to vlog about because when I think about the perfect day, I think of days like these.